Chinese and the African entrepreneurs attended the conference today. They are chatting, seeking opportunities in China. They wish to have more cooperation in the future. So China and Morocco trade relation is booming this last few years. Uh, you have many, many investments that are coming to Morocco because of its strategic positioning in the Africa continent, its uh, economical stability, the, its geopolitical stability. Chinese companies, in their go global uh, and their optimization of supply chain, are coming to Morocco. At the same time, for the for the establishment of these companies, they need to, to get raw material from China. So that's why you see that the trade is increasing. From a year to year, there was an increase of more than 15% of trade. It's through these forums that, uh, that the ties are getting stronger. When you have the meeting between the high levels, they agree on some uh, action plans that need to be established. It's really the time for the opening up of, uh, of China. It's really the time uh, to, to be the key player of the global supply chain and value chain. I think that this FOCAC was uh, the forum who give us another chance for Africa and China together to work for the population of China and the Congo, Congo and Africa. I think that is a great, great moment for the story of the economic of the world. China and Congo uh, in Africa, the Congo has a is uh, the, the country who is uh, China have the many interest in mining, you know, that uh, for the copper, the cobalt, uh, the coltan. I think that uh, this cooperation was big, big, big again uh, for the country of uh, China and the DFC. Uh, me, for me, I'm the president of the, the Chamber of Commerce of uh, DFC. For me, I represented many entrepreneurs from DFC in uh, the whole sector the mining sector, the energy sector, the agricultural sector, the technology sector. And I think that today is very tough for all entrepreneurs from Africa. I think China's give us a new opportunity for to go uh, in the progress. And I think that the FOCAC uh, 2024 is very, very high level for Africa. We are looking for a lot of business opportunities between uh, our, our country and our business, Yona, and any potential company that we might see uh, that we can work together with. We are into financial services. We are also into insurance. Uh, we also have a microfinance business as well. We are also into agribusiness, where we do a lot of uh, importation of machineries uh, into the country. So we also into digital wallets. Um, it's a platform that allows people to do financial transactions pay bills and all that. So uh, it's an opportunity to really see all these things around. Uh, probably we'll network around and see how we can work together. There is a very, very good relationship between the two, country, two governments. And that's why we are here. We are happy to be here to represent our country and also our business as well. We hope to see more of that uh, uh, yeah, for, for the generations to, to really benefit from those corporations. Yeah. We are the largest bank in Morocco and we are also the sixth bank in the African continent. We are present in 27 countries, including 15 countries in Africa. Uh, so we're uh, actually bridging uh, China and uh, Africa. Coming to our cooperation uh, in the financial area, we have many um, uh, partnerships with the main Chinese uh, financial institution and the trade, the trend uh, uh, in this area is for uh, a bigger uh, and regular cooperation. So uh, we work together to uh, co-finance uh, syndicate loans for uh, investors. We work together for the internationalization of uh, Dreaming B. And uh, we actually work together uh, for more innovative solution. So uh, um, the cooperation between China and Africa in the financial sector is strengthening. and. Uh, we uh, are um, uh, really engaged to uh, be part of this dynamic and to be well positioned as a trust financial partners for uh, Chinese investors. Actually, the uh, uh, operation in B are gaining uh, uh, traction. And uh, as a bank, we were the first bank in uh, North Africa uh, and uh, in the UNIA region to uh, land an offer in B uh, 14 years ago with the Bank of China. And uh, we are still supporting this internationalization. 
with uh, uh, our uh, our other financial uh, uh, partners uh, and uh, encouraging actually both parties, either Chinese or uh, um, African uh, clients, to use the RMB. And we've seen uh, in the last uh, few years more and more um, operation uh, in terms of Fonda Bond. So I think in the year to come, we will see more and more uh, uh, actually African investors uh, using also uh, this kind of uh, financing. We are happy about this cooperation between Africa and China. Um, we are looking to see how to deepen the business relationship between the continent and China. I'm very much interested in agriculture, in mining, in manufacturing and um, in infrastructure development. Um, there's been a good relationship uh, with both uh, China and Nigeria over the years and um, we are looking at how to make sure Nigeria gets um, a better value in this relationship. When there is a government-to-government -government handshake, it makes it easier for business-to-business -to, -business to cooperate better. So I think it's a wonderful initiative and we are very happy about that. I am Aminata from Sierra Leone, West Africa. We have a lot of cooperation. We have a lot of Chinese companies in Africa, in Sierra Leone to be specific. China is offering a lot of scholarship and our president is also in China. Our ministers are here. We have a good relationship. In 2024, Sierra Leone president is the first president to visit China. It tells you that China is important to Sierra Leone and we are good friends. We have a lot of business in China. A lot of businesses are here. We have a lot of Sierra Leoneans that are in Guangzhou that have company. Chinese people are so friendly. They are so accommodating. They are, their hospitality is the best. And you know one thing about China? When you are in China, you are safe. You don't worry about security. You can travel at night. You can travel during the day. You are just safe. So I think China is safer. It's a very safe place to live in the world. I'm here to network. I'm here to learn from the Chinese government. I'm here to strengthen the relationship between China and Sierra Leone. The direction China is moving, it's actually the, the right direction. They continue to open it up, they continue to strengthen their relationship with Africa and Sierra Leone to be specific, which is very good move for Chinese government.